Welcome to Learning Science Channel, a platform that provides educational videos of various concepts which will help learners in gaining and understanding different fields of science like biology, chemistry, earth science, and physics. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated for more science lessons. For today's video, we are going to study about incomplete dominance and codominance. In the Mendelian patterns of inheritance, the effects of the recessive gene are not observed when the dominant gene is present. In this video, you will find out that certain traits do not always follow the Mendelian principles of heredity. Let us start with incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance follows the non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance wherein a heterozygote shows the phenotype that is intermediate between the two homozygous phenotypes. Neither allele is dominant over the other. One of the best examples is when a red-flowered gumamella plant were crossed to a white-flowered gumamella plant resulting to a pink-flowered gumamella plant. As you can see, the resulting phenotype of the offspring is intermediate between the phenotypes of the parent. How does it happen? By using this Punnett square, let us cross the red-flowered gumamella plant represented by RR to a white-flowered gumamella plant WW. By multiplying the alleles, the resulting offsprings will be RW, 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 and RW. Since the offspring is intermediate between the characteristics of the parent, we will not read RW as red-white, but instead, the offspring's phenotype is a pink-flowered gumamella plant. Genotype RW Phenotypic ratio 4 is to 4 or 1 is to 1, since they are all pink. Genotypic ratio 4 is to 4 or 1 is to 1, since it is all RW. Phenotypic percentage 100% pink flowered gumamella plant. Genotypic percentage 100% RW. Let us have another cross. Suppose the parents are both pink flowered gumamella plant, represented by RW. Let us find out the possible offspring by using this Punnett square. By multiplying the alleles, then we will have RR, RW, RW, WW. Therefore, the phenotypes are red, pink, and white flowered gumamella plant. Genotypes RR, RW and WW. Phenotypic ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 since we have 1 red, 2 pink, and 1 white flowered gumamella plant. Genotypic ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 since we have 1 RR, 2 RW, and 1 WW. Phenotypic percentage, 25% red, 50% pink, and 25% white flowered gumamella plant. Genotypic percentage, 25% RR, 50% RW, and 25% WW. Always remember that in incomplete dominance, it is a form of intermediate inheritance in which one allele for a specific trait is not completely dominant over the other allele. This results in a third phenotype in which the expressed physical trait is a combination of alleles from the parent. So this time, let us analyze codominance. 
Another pattern of non-Mendelian inheritance is co-dominance. This results when one allele is not dominant over the other. The resulting heterozygote exhibit the traits of both parents. A good example of co-dominance is when a red hair cattle were crossed to a white hair cattle, resulting to a row one cattle, the cattle with red and white hairs together. As you can see, the phenotype of both parents are expressed in the offspring. How does it happen? By using this Punnett square, let us cross the red hair cattle represented by RR to a white hair cattle WW. By multiplying the alleles, the resulting offsprings will be RW, 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 and RW. The phenotypes of the offspring is a row one cattle. Genotype RW. Phenotypic ratio 4 is to 4 or 1 is to 1 since they are all row 1. Genotypic ratio 4 is to 4 or 1 is to 1 since it is all RW. Phenotypic percentage 100% row 1 cattle. Genotypic percentage 100% RW. Let us try another cross. Suppose the father is a row 1 cattle mated with the mother which is a white cattle. Let us find out the possible offspring by using the Punnett square. By multiplying the alleles, then we will have RW, WW, RW, WW. Therefore, the phenotypes are row 1 and white cattle. Genotype, RW and WW. Phenotypic ratio, 2 is to 2, since we have 2 row 1s and 2 white cattle. Genotypic ratio, 2 is to 2, since we have 2 RW and 2 WW. Phenotypic percentage, 50% row 1 and 50% white cattle. Genotypic percentage, 50% RW and 50% WW. Always remember that in codominance, both alleles are expressed equally in the phenotype of the heterozygote. And that's it about incomplete dominance and codominance. You did really great. And to test if you learned something on this video, let us help this man to answer this question. Which between the two puppies follows the incomplete dominance pattern of inheritance? Is it A, the brown puppy, or letter B, the row one puppy? Feel free to comment down below your answer and let us find out if it is correct. And if you find our videos helpful, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. See you on the next lesson.